happy Father's Day to every father out there. And you really deserve this day, you know, as being a father is not an easy job. But this is going to be a quick video. I want to read something to you guys that blessed me so much to the point to where I am. I'm fighting back tears. So please forgive me. OK, this is from my oldest daughter. Daddy, you are one of a kind man. You came into mom's life when I was five years old, immediately stood on business of being a wonderful example, provider, and loving person to her children. You made being a stepdad non-existent because you were a father from the start. I, of course, know that I didn't always make things easy on you, but I have always loved you, and you are an awesome hero. <laughs> I used to say a certain thing to I can't say it on YouTube. Insider. <laughs> I, I get it. All of us love you and thank you for being an example for all of us and your grandbabies. Keep being a great example for these men out there doing your YouTube videos. Get the word out. When I met my wife and some of you who've been rocking with me for a while, seen some of my videos where I said that she was a single mom of two. Uh, Marcus, my oldest son, he was not even five months old. And Constant, my interesting child, was five years old. And this was back in 1995, I believe. And back then, we didn't have social media. We didn't. We had cell phones, but only people who had money could get them. But we didn't have social media. We barely had the internet. However, I do remember when I first asked my wife, Keisha, to marry me. My stepdad said to me, are you sure? Man, she has a lot of kids. And I had to reassure him that, yes, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm not a perfect man, so I'm not going to pretend to be some perfect guy. That I've never made mistakes. Um, but I can say I've, we've never cheated on each other. We never badmouthed each other with cuss words. We've had disagreements, but we kept it truly, truly respectable. Now, I know there's a lot of rhetoric online saying, do not mess with a woman with children. The rhetoric goes something like, these ratchet women, you're their backup plan. And I'm sure a lot of women have heard this, and I'm not saying there are no women that are like that. But I remember when I met my wife, I was going through a bad divorce. I was married to a woman who was child free, who didn't want to be a faithful woman. But when I met my wife, I said I could spend the rest of my life with that woman. Most guys would say, oh, she had two kids. Man, women with kids, you know, they lose, they lose their value. I saw my wife as a valuable woman. And I said, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her. Not because I didn't think I can get better. To me, she was cream of the crop, and she still is. Now, get ready to be 28 years later this September the 8th. I don't regret a thing. Did I have hard times? Children that wasn't born under my loins? Yes. I've heard the infamous phrase from my oldest daughter, you ain't my daddy. But I understood that she was acting out of a silly mindset. I understood that. But that did not stop me from being daddy. I wasn't a stepdad. I was daddy. So I want to say to a lot of men, they married a woman that has children. And maybe people are, are whispering in your ear saying, man, you got the bad end of the stick. Uh, this woman has lost value. Why are you doing this for her? Won't you get out of that? She doesn't provide value for you. Or maybe to some of you women that maybe you got with the wrong guy. You made a mistake. You used bad judgment. You have children by this individual. And you're hearing guys constantly say online, you lost your value once you had children by someone else. No one's going to ever take you serious. The only thing you could be to some guy because you have children is a side chick. I would say, and forgive, forgive my French, I would say to these guys, tell them to go to hell. I have a wonderful wife. She's always encouraged me. She's always built me up. She was there with my struggle with PTSD from the war. She was there when I had nothing, when I lost my job and I had to go from place to place and ridicule from people just just to mop floors. Yes, I mopped floors before, but she stayed with me. She never put me down. Always reminded me that I am the king of the household. And to see my daughter say this about me, Constant, I love you. Yes, I said your name. Constant Hope Walker. 
That's my daughter. Wasn't born under my loins, but she's my baby girl. Just like Marcus LaShawn Walker, that's my son. And I don't care what some of these bozos say. I don't care if they think that I'm low value, but I could tell you this. I have a thriving family. I have wonderful grandchildren, and I look forward to having many, many more. And to you fathers out there who took on the challenge like I did, salute, you know. Don't listen to these idiots that try to tell you that you got the raw end of the stick. And to you ladies again, who well, you're constantly being told that you have lost your value because you had children by another guy because you made a mistake, and maybe you didn't use the best judgment at the time, but you're trying to get it together, but you're constantly being hit over the head with this crazy talk from these self-righteous incels who are just upset because they can't have access to a wonderful woman for whatever reason. And there's a lot of reasons. I say you tell them to go to hell. You keep living your life. Respect yourself. Keep striving for excellence. And one day, a man that finds value in you, you will find your Boaz. Just like Ruth, you will find your Boaz. And that's all I have to say. And thank you so much for listening. And again, happy Father's Day, yo. And I'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Peace.